What is up everybody, Mike back with another video. Today we're going to take a look at one of the smallest DLP projectors that you can pick up anywhere. It's smaller than an Apple. I mean, what more do I need to say? This DLP projector has built-in Wi-Fi and you can actually stream media straight off your smartphone, iPad, whatever you want. Guys over at Gearbest sent this over. Let's not waste any time and let's unbox. This is the box that it arrives in. It almost reminds me of like I've ordered an AMD CPU of some sort. So it looks like that. It's so small. It's so so hard to comprehend how small this thing is. Now I've tested DLP projectors, not this small. One instruction manual upon opening the box. Now the picture quality on the instruction manual looks pretty damn good. Some of the uh, Chinese projectors that I've tested, they give you an instruction manual like this. Horrible, broken English, but the diagrams, everything looks pretty cool. Uh, projector itself, we'll come back to that. Uh, projector sits in this thick, it almost feels like leather, uh, protection with a hard piece of card. So if you're having it shipped over internationally, arrives in one piece, not a problem. Micro USB cable, I think it's about 1.5 meters if I read the uh, instruction contents right. Projector itself, damn this thing is small. Genuinely small. Now, by all means, I've tested this before I shot this video and you're in for a bit of a treat. So I'll tell you that, little spoiler. This thing is smaller Pretty much about the same size. I wouldn't say smaller than my Yongno lens cap, which is pretty impressive because that is a 52 millimeter lens cap. Now, if you look at the symbol on here on one of the plane sides, it's got a Wi-Fi symbol, so you can use the AZ Cast app. And over on the left side, you've got yourself a power button, a play button, an OK button, and a return key to return back to whatever menu you were previously in. Um, the top and the side of it is pretty simple. On the front, you've got like a venting, and if you come over to the rear side, you can see that there's a speaker. Now the speaker isn't very good, it's like one watt, and you've got the focus uh, wheel as well. Really smooth, really nice. Um, yeah, micro USB on the back, headphone jack, pretty standard stuff. I'm loving this finish, by the way, it looks fantastic. It feels fantastic. So how about we just go straight in, fire this thing up, and see what it can do. So guys, here we go. We're firing up the device, and as you can see, it loads up with this screen. Time to play. Now let's uh, focus. Now you guys can see I'm wobbling it around, and you can see the picture clarity. Uh, setting systems menu. Uh, it's very basic. Uh, version, language, update, and all of that good stuff. And then we can uh, come out of there, and we'll take a look at the main screen, and this is your main home screen. Click onto photos. So let's load some files. I've got some large image files off my uh, D5200, 24 megapixel pictures, and a test image as well. Now, as far as this test image goes, we're looking for sharpness on the corners, and we're also looking for the 16 by 9 aspect ratios. As you can see, so the circle in the middle, it should be signifying that the aspect ratio is 16 by 9, and all is well with the projector. Now quickly, we're going to load up this uh, image file of like a doctor's eye chart like I did on the last projector review just to show you the clarity of the text. And you know what, the edges of the text, other than the uh, fact that I ripped this image off the website, it looks pretty damn good even down to the smallest line, 2020 vision. So that's enough of that. So here's a 24 megapixel image that I took on the D5200. Looks pretty decent. So this next clip is a uh, 720 by 480 clip, which is what you should be expecting from a projector like this. Now, as you can see, this is like a very used clip. Lots of color, lots of movement. Well, not so, lots of movement on this part, but as you can see, it's not bad at all. The colors are pretty damn vibrant. A lot nicer than uh, some of the uh, bigger size projectors that I've seen. And you know what? It does look pretty damn cool. There's no lag in the playback either. So now this is an actual HD test, so this is encoded H.264, and I must admit it does look pretty damn good. Yeah, really nice. So let's go check out a 1080p file. And lastly, here's the uh, built-in speakers in action. So I'm going to shut up now and let you listen to this. Anytime something that connects wirelessly, I always forget to show. So I don't want to get moaned at. So I'm going to connect it to my smartphone right now in a lit room. Okay, now to connect it to your wireless projector, what you need to do is power on the button. As soon as you power it on, you'll see a blinking flashing light. 
Go onto the menu screen, select this Wi-Fi symbol, and it will bring this up. Now, once you're on this screen, you need to switch over to your phone. And as you can see, I've got EZCast in bottom row of apps if you missed it. Uh, and it'll start doing this. Now, you can see the little tick and the little red dot on the top. Now, we're just waiting for it to connect, and it'll say LG, blah, 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 that's my smartphone. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on this little tick icon. So, once you click on this little tick icon... It'll come up with a little warning, internet isn't available, don't worry about it. Once you've pressed on this, it'll come up with this, it'll start displaying and capturing everything. Go ahead and press start now. And this should be now sticking out of your projector on your wall. As you can see, the experience is nice and smooth. And you know what, there is very little lag. Now if I open up YouTube, it won't work because I haven't got 4G switched on because Vodafone are absolute, I won't finish that sentence, they keep charging me for data. Yeah, this one's a little bit of a weird one, ignore that. Now, as you can see, images are displayed nice and bright and they look really clean and crisp. Now, I'm scrolling pretty damn fast and you know what, it doesn't look too bad. So that was my setup and as you can see, everything that's on my phone is playing on the projector. Nice and simple. And there's been some uh, complaints from some users about the app. Now, I personally can't find anything wrong with it. It seems to be working absolutely fine. Um, what I will also do is play a video clip. So here you go. So this is like a recent video. If you haven't gone and checked this video out, I'm giving away a prize at the end of this month. Best gadgets under 50. Go check it out. Link will be in the video description. And um, yeah, so that is about it from me, guys, with this particular projector. Uh, this is from Gearbest. But you can also pick it up from many other online retailers. I'll hit you up with the links in the video description. But I will put the actual model... Uh, at the top of the list so be sure to check it out if you want to see more cool gadgets like this go ahead and uh, leave a like maybe even consider subscribing maybe share the video with a friend and you know what this is perfect for just going around to a mate's house you got something on your phone that you want to show them whip this out you can watch it on the big screen really good very handy and makes a fantastic pretty damn awesome present as well so my name is mike this is tech 404 want to see more of these reviews be sure to subscribe i'll see you on the next video